I'm Jay. And I'm John. And we're Bucket List Travellers. And in this Honduras travel vlog, we'll answer the question, how expensive is travelling in Honduras? So firstly, why visit Honduras? Well, for us, we were attracted to Honduras because it has some of the best value diving in the world. We got our advanced diving certificates in Honduras and it was an amazing experience. Yeah, on top of that, there's also natural beauty throughout the whole country and it's largely off the tourist trail, so it's wide open for exploring. And it's a low cost budget destination when backpacking in Central America. We're gonna break down all our expenses that we had in our two weeks in Honduras for you. So firstly is accommodation. Our average cost per person per day worked out to be just over $9 US. So our cheapest accommodation was actually free. So that was on the island of Utila, and we'll get to that a little bit later. Our most expensive accommodation was at a boutique hotel, and that was $36 for the room per night. So as a price guide, expect to pay around eight to 15 US dollars per person per night for a dorm room, around 30 to 150 US dollars per night for a room for mid-range accommodation, and around 150 to 450 US dollars per night for luxury accommodation. Yeah, so the price of the accommodation can vary a lot depending on the location that you're in. The island of Roatan, for example, is the most expensive area of Honduras, and you will find a lot of luxury accommodation there at typically USA type prices. One accommodation that we highly recommend if you're in the capital to Gulsagalpa is the Palmira Hostel. It was really nice, wasn't it? Oh yeah, I loved it. We just spent a few days chillaxing there. It had some really nice balcony areas with views out over the city. I love just relaxing in a hammock and reading a book and just whiling the day away. Yeah, so it's in a relatively safe area. There's a kitchen that you can prepare your own meals in as well. And it was really affordable. It was around $22 US per night per room. Our next category is food. So just like other Central American countries, eating out in Honduras is relatively inexpensive. We spent around $7.50 US per person per day when we were in Honduras. And in addition to that, we also bought groceries, just fruit, vegetables, and some bread to make sandwiches. And the cost for that was around a dollar per day as well. So as a rough guide, expect to pay around 50 cents to a dollar 50 per serving for street food. Yeah, so one street food that we highly recommend are the baleadas. They're a cross between a taco and a burrito, and they're filled with refried beans and cheese and other fillings as well. So really inexpensive and really delicious. Really delicious. Yeah, so apart from the street food, you could have a meal at a local eatery for around $2.50 to $5 US per person, or you could go to a cafe or restaurant, and that will set you back around five to 10 US dollars per meal. The next category of expenses is transport. So we took a lot of express buses to get around Honduras and they generally cost around five US dollars for a two hour journey per person. We went from Santa Rosa de Copan to San Pedro Sula. And we also went from San Pedro Sula to La Ceiba and they were both around five US dollars per person for those rides. So around San Pedro Sula, there is a bit of a reputation for that being a dangerous area. We did find that in the express buses, we were security checked before boarding to make sure that there's no guns on board. So there is a history of armed robberies and carjackings and that sort of thing in that area. So that's something to keep in mind in terms of safety in Honduras. We didn't personally have any issues, but you do see a lot of things in the news. San Pedro Sula isn't the only area in Honduras that you just need to be careful around. Other major cities and some routes between cities are quite dangerous as well. To travel safely through the country, we recommend you take the mid-range buses or the luxury buses. So there are a couple of luxury buses, Hedman Alas and Viana buses. So those will be a fair bit more expensive than the General Express buses. You'll be paying up to $37 per trip for some of those services, but they will have heightened security and you're paying for the peace of mind there. 
So one thing we don't recommend you travel on when you're in Honduras are the local public buses. They're the school buses, uh, the yellow... Uh, the US yellow school buses. Yes, yeah, they're quite notorious for getting armed robberies on them. It's best just to stick to the express buses and the luxury buses if you're concerned about your safety. There are also private shuttles available in Honduras. So, for example, a shuttle from La Ceiba in Honduras to Leon in Nicaragua will cost you around 80 US dollars per person. In terms of other transport, we took a ferry from La Ceiba to Utila, and that cost was around $25 US per person, plus a $1 port fee as well. Now, we did end up getting stuck on Utila for an extra three days, longer than we expected because the seas were rough. So I guess keep in mind that ferries do get cancelled from time to time and you might want to put a, in a bit of a buffer in your travel plans. Yeah. And so that brings us on to our next category, which is activities. So our main activity uh, that we did in Honduras was diving. So we originally went to Utila just to do just a couple of dives. So we're able to get two dives for 70 US dollars and that was with Utila Water Sports. Now, as Jay said, we had bad weather and we, we got stuck on the island for another couple of days. So we decided to make that an opportunity and we did our advanced open water diving course. So that course cost 300 US dollars per person and it included three nights of accommodation. So it was great value and we've got a skill that will always remind us of Honduras. So other costs that you're going to be interested in are the cost of entering and leaving Honduras. We entered via land in El Salvador and we paid $3 per person each to enter. And when we left through the Nicaragua border, we didn't have to pay any exit fee. Now, if you do fly into the country, I believe there is an exit tax that you need to pay. Now, we couldn't get consistent information on how much that was or whether it was in your ticket or not. We believe it's around $36 US. But if you know for sure, if you've experienced that, please let us know in the comments. And if you're traveling to Honduras during COVID, you may want to know the COVID requirements for Honduras. Now, in order to enter the country, you need either a negative COVID test or you need a proof of vaccination. And if you need a COVID test while you're in Honduras in order to exit the country, then a PCR test will cost you between 100 and 185 US dollars and an antigen test will cost between 35 and 45 US dollars. You'll also need to complete an online pre-check-in form before entering Honduras. So in summary, in our 14 days traveling in Honduras, we spent a bit under $1,300, or that worked out to be around $45 per person per day. So if you want to know more about traveling to Honduras, then we've got our Honduras destination guide on our website, jjbucketlisttravelers.com. We also have plenty of videos about Central America travel and travel around the world. So if you want to join us on our bucket list journey to get to 100 countries, then make sure you subscribe. We are Bucket List Travelers. See you next time.